Thank you, Senator Heller. Senator Moran. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, Madam Secretary, thank you for being here. Um, you can ex sense the frustration that uh, many of us have on this topic, and part of it is that we've heard uh, the potential for success so many times uh, without seeing the results that uh, we want to see. Uh, I had uh, visits last week with uh, disabled American veterans uh, from Kansas, the American Legion, the VFW, all in the office, and uh, this now is uh, their number one priority and the most uh, significant complaint that I continue to receive from Kansas veterans and their families. Uh, when I came to Congress uh, now some time ago, and I've served on the Veterans Committee in my entire time in the House, uh, now in the Senate, um, it was always health care that was the topic. Uh, and it seems to me that the health care side of the VA has done things that apparently the benefits side has not because the number of complaints about the quality and access to health care has diminished significantly and the number of complaints uh, about uh, benefits has increased dramatically. Uh, and so uh, I don't know whether there is a role model within the VA uh, and while the health care side is not perfect, the progress and improvements seem to be evident and you may have a role model within your own department for uh, guidelines. In addition to that, uh, I assume that you've consulted with the private sector uh, in trying to find out how they deal with this magnitude of claims. Uh, and I assume, uh, these are questions, uh, you can tell me that my assumptions are wrong, that you've had uh, genuine and uh, real conversations with the employees that you describe as so loyal and so dedicated. Uh, I often think that, uh, uh, federal agencies, employers in general, never take advantage or rarely take advantage of the knowledge of their own employees who may have the best solutions because they're the ones who deal with the issues every day. Uh, and is there, in regard to employees, is there a reward or benefit that accrues to employees who provide timeliness and accuracy in the benefit process? Uh, and finally, uh, what is the process that you have in place to help the veteran who is in a dire circumstance? Often, the calls, concerns, the conversations that I have as a member of Congress, and I would guess my colleagues as well, is from, from somebody who is about to lose their home to foreclosure, or my dad is homeless, uh, and we have been waiting on an answer from the VA on benefits that very well may enable him or her to make their mortgage payment or get off the street. What process is in place that allows you to uh, prioritize those claims in which if you fail to provide the benefits, the veteran suffers dramatically? So, so let me start, Senator Moran, with the, the, the last uh, thing you just mentioned, and which is how do we help our most uh, um, uh, um, our veterans who are in the most dire circumstances. Uh, we actually prioritize them. Uh, when we hear words uh, like terminally ill, we hear words like on the verge of homelessness, we hear words like former prisoner of war, we hear words like Medal of Honor recipient, we prioritize those above all other claims. We routinely pull those out of the process and we raise those up and we do those quickly. So I will start there by answering that question uh, very clearly. Uh, secondly, I will tell you that everything in this plan did not originate in in 1800 G Street over in VA. In fact, every one of the initiatives that are in this plan were pulled together by including the thoughts of our employees. Most of the initiatives, these are employee-generated initiatives, couldn't do it without them. Um, uh, uh, we have industry partners who were part of the process of helping us think this through. We had federal agencies, and still today, I was at IRS yesterday, talking more and more, we have meetings with them frequently, talking more and more about how did they go paperless, what were the issues they saw, how can we prevent those issues as we do. Um, same with Social Security. Uh, we, have, uh, we have definitely partnered with our VHA uh, partners in doing this. And I will just say, VHA enjoyed the benefit of resources that VBA did not until
until three or four years ago. Uh, we were not to high on the priority budget list. We have been. I'm so appreciative of that over the last four years, but we were not prior to this, certainly not on the IT priority list either. We are now. That's a very positive thing. But the last thing I really did want to just tell you is I leave today in this hearing and I go do what I have been doing for the last four months. I get on a call all the way down to bargaining unit employees who are on VBMS today in all of our regional offices and I just tell them, tell me the good, the bad, and the ugly. We do it every week. I make every one of the uh, program uh, officers in there, all the IT people listening, and these folks tell us like it is. And when they do it, I take it, I task it, we get it fixed, and we get it done so that it gets better every single time. The people who are making VBMS today better are not our IT friends. It is our subject matter experts in the field who are getting on the system going, bang, 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 guess what? If you did that thing for me, I could go much faster. They're doing that today by the bucket loads. I am so appreciative of getting that bargaining unit level employees input into our process and make sure I get it every single week. I do not miss that phone call.